That's it. So we've got on Zoom, we've got Elsa and she's got her friendly ad. On the paddock, we've got Yvonne, Martin, and Deb, no Jan, here. and Penny. That's what I just said. You're here. Oh, so You're not all here. <laughs> As it goes from side to side. And just give your body a bit, a little bit of twisting. It's getting warm now. The sun's coming out, isn't it? And reaching up to the sky, stretch through the front of your body and then exhale, bring your hands down, stretching through your legs, lower back. Let your body hang here. You might like to swing your arms a little bit, give your lower back a little bit of breathing space. And then coming back up, give your legs a little shake and then we'll do a stretch for your um, thighs. So you might need to buddy up or use your weight as a walking stick or try to balance. I don't want any, lose anybody over the edge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. And then go other way. Just when Yvonne got it, we change sides. <laughs> so bring your knee together and bring your heel to your bottom. Good. Radio, and just give your knees, uh, your hips, some movement. Have you been to the gym today? Not today. Oh, no. I've got a few clients now on a Tuesday morning. Radio. So for our cardio warm up, we're going to start with some Frankenstein walks. So. We might as well walk up and down the hill so you guys can go in a line. And the Zoomers, you can walk on the spot. So Frankenstein walks, you're having your legs out straight. So let's go up the hill. Jill is away. It was Rudy's birthday and she took him somewhere special. Yeah. And then back down the hill, we'll go up and down a couple of times. These are harder than they look. Good. Keep going one more time up and down. So deep breathing, just getting our heart rate up a little bit. Good. Okay, let's go we'll get in a long line up this way, do some star jumps. So on the zoomers, you guys are star jumping. Good for your bone density, but the jumping not so good if you've got sore knees. <laughs> Okay, and let's do a few knees up. Just getting a little bit more movement into our lower body. So Elsa and Leanne, knees up. And then next one we're going to do is mountain climbers. So uh, the girls on Zoom, you can go in front of a chair you have and mountain climb, and we can we can do it here. But the problem is I like can't this. hear her either without the thing. Okay. I'll have to wait until she stops. Mountain climbers. I'll just talking. put you on mute. Jenny, I can, can you hear me now? Do you, can you hear me now? Why can't can I hear, hear you? I don't, I don't know. know. I can hear you. Turn, turn yours up. You should be able to hear it. We've got the microphone on. Can you hear it now? Yeah. We'll just okay. have to maybe mute. Yeah, but I'm using my can uh, you hear airdrop. It? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, I can hear well, you. we've got the microphone on. I have on. to put it in, darling. Okay. I've got mine in, so you should be out of here, but I need to put you on mute. Yes. That's it. Good. Okay, good. Okay, sorry about that. It's hard when you've got Zoomers and Paddockers and they've got problems. <laughs> okay, so I think they're right now. So next one we're going to do, we'll do some skaters. So again, just come in a long line. So we're gonna step to the side and step behind. Step to the side and step behind. That's it. And once you get into the groove, then you can move your hands in as well. Okay, so Elsa and Leanne, step to the side, step behind. it let's go 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 okay grab your weights we'll start with some biceps Radio, so nice one knees, um, soft knees. Bring your core on and coming up. So breathe in as you control the weight down and breathe out as you bring it up. That's it. We've got 10 seconds to go. Good. Okay, next one we're going to do is calf raises. So facing up the hill and take your feet a little wider than your hips. And I want you to hold the weight and lift both feet up and both heels up and then slowly lower it down. The weight just goes. No, but you can, you can do the weight if you want, but it might put you off balance. So just hold the weight. So using all your little stabilizer muscles in your hips, your knees and your ankles. That's it, so lifting all the way up and then just slowly down. You start to feel your calves and your Achilles, strengthening all the little muscles in your feet. Starting to feel it. Good work. Okay, next one is tricep dips. So um, a few of you can go along the seat there, along the front of the seat and on each end. And you guys can use a chair or something for tricep dips. Okay, up you go. Okay, so we need to go along the seat and someone on the end. Yeah, you can use the other seat if you want. If you want to go to the other seat, you can as well. Might be better, Martin. That's it. So dropping your bottom over the edge, hands next to your hips. That's it, like that. You can also do these on the ground. It's not as easy like that. Radio, good job. Okay, next one, grab your weights. We're doing a squat with a press. So lifting up your weight with your thumbs forward, squatting down and pressing up. Anyone with any shoulder issues, just do the squat without the press. That's it, nice. That's it. 
So keep a strong deep breathing. Breathe in as you come down and breathe out as you press up. Okay, we're done on that one. Next one is push-ups. So if you don't do it on the mat, you can go up to that feet. And you girls on the Skype can do it on your mat or next to a table or a wall. Hands on the outside of the mat, that's it. And pushing up. That's it, nice work ladies on the chair. That's it, keeping it nice and strong. Feeling it, Deb. Radio, and then stretch it out into a child's pose, or you guys can do a downward dog, a quick stretch. Okay, coming back to the mat. Next one we're doing is a plank. Are you guys okay to stay in the sun or do you, you can move, shift up into the shade if you want? Up to you, it's all good. All right, you ready? Let's go, plank. That's it, just so drop your bottom down so your back's nice and flat. And deep breathing. Good work. And coming down, going into child's pose, give that little stretch. And then coming up, back up to standing position, we're going to do bent over rows. So grabbing your weight, I want you to bend at the hips, nice flat back, soft knees, and bring the weight up to your rib cage and squeeze between your shoulders. That's it. Good. Yep, good everyone. That's it. So keeping your back nice and flat. So we're working our legs, our core, arms and shoulders on this one. So really squeezing it. 15 seconds to go. Good. Okay, back on the mat, we've got sit-ups this time. So you can either do the ones where you have bent knees and you slide your hands up your legs, or you can do CrossFit sit-ups. You choose CrossFit, you've got your knees out to the side. So whatever works best for you, that's it. So Elsa and Leanne, you can do whichever. Nice work, everyone. Okay, have a little rest. Next one is a bridge. So having your knees bent and your feet on the ground. And I want you to inhale, lift up through the hips, bring your arms over the top. Slow your spine and bring your arms around the side. So bridges. And so your chest comes up to your chin and then lower your spine down like it's a bike chain. Closer to your bottom to get a good squeeze through the glutes you can. 
squeeze, and then slowly down. Keep it going. your glutes and your thighs and your shoulders. Three. Hug your knees into your chest and just give you a little lower back, a little squeeze. Okay, while we're here, let's do a little twist. Have your feet on the ground, out to the side. Drop your knees towards your ribs like that. And exhale to the other side. So knees to the bridge, look to Blues Point Tower. Good. Is let on your side and you can put your weight on the leg having um, nice straight body and legs feet flexed and bottom flexed and hip forward okay and then we're gonna stopping session okay so lift it up if you're doing it right, you won't be able to lift your leg more than about 60 centimetres. If it's going higher, just move your hip forward a bit more. Just check what everyone's up to. Looks good. Okay, well done. And change sides. Straight body. Bring your hip forward and flex your foot. And up we go. That's it. Bring your hip a bit more forward, um, Eva. That's it. And maybe drop the weight off. Looks a bit heavy for you. Yeah, just put your hand on there, that's it, so you can lift up a bit higher. That's better. Bring your hip a bit more forward, Martin. Squeezing the butt. So this one's good for your legs and your butt. Bit of Nearly finished. Okay, drop your weight off. And coming on to the tabletop. Let's just give our um, butt a bit of a stretch. So just coming into child's pose, just give that little stretch out. Pausing session. And then coming back onto all fours, we're gonna do a stretch for your shoulders. I'll just come up a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to do thread the needle. Yeah, that one, Deb. So start off on your, bring your left hand towards the center of the mat and lift up your right hand and take it all the way up and then thread it under, hover, and then inhale, bring it all the way up. And I'll do again. And one more of these and under. And then on the next one, we're gonna go down onto our shoulder and our ear, bring the other hand forward. Let's see, just stretch it out. We're gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. And then come back up and we'll go to the other side. So, Inhale all the way up, really twist through the back and exhale, hover. Inhale all the way up 
and exhale, hover it. Just nice and slow, really twist and stretch the body. And on this next one, we're gonna go down and bring our shoulder and our ear down to the mat, take the other hand forward. And we're gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, and Okay. Since we're in this position, we'll just do a couple of cat cows just to free up your spine a little bit. And that's round one done. So grab yourself a quick drink, have a little break. Let's check on Elsa. How you going there, Elsa? Take yourself off mute for a sec. Hello. I couldn't see you. I thought you went for a cup of tea. Hello. I've got a glass of water. I'm just going to get my friend You're a right? glass of water. Thank glass you. Yeah, water. yeah, it's great. It's great. Thank you. Okay, okay. Have a good, good. Okay, so have a quick little drink of water. We have to do all of that again. Go. <laughs> you don't have to. I think darling. I'll leave you off mute. Okay. I'm going to listen in on your conversation. Make sure you're oh. working hard. Make sure I can hear a bit of puffing and blunting. <laughs> no, but I have to tell her. Jenny, Jenny. Hi, yeah. Jen. Yeah. Uh, yes. Leanne is doing it in the veranda and I'm in, inside the dining room. So don't, uh, don't oh, leave, us on, okay. uh, leave us on mute so, because I'm telling her what you're telling me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'm, oh, I'm right, on yeah, Okay, airdrop. I'll put you back on mute then. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll take you off. Ready, a mute all. All done. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go to round two. Okay, so let's start with some knees up, going up the hill. That's it, and back down. Just keep them up nice and high. Let's go up backwards with the knees up this time. Got to make it a bit more challenging. That's it. Okay, Frankenstein walks now. And then Frankenstein's back up the hill. Trying to stop me from talking. <laughs> Frankenstein's up the hill. Okay, and then knees up, back down the hill. Radio, and then in the long line, let's do skaters. So we go step to the side, step behind, step to the side, step behind, and then bring your arms in when you. Getting the hang of it. Okay, let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then popping your hands down so you're facing up the hill. And we're going to do mountain climbers. So just moving your feet forward and back. Easy to do on the hill, Jan. <laughs> okay, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good work. And then coming up. Okay, good job. Grab your weights and we'll do a squat press. Okay, off we go. So thumbs forward, squatting down and pressing all the way up. Big long stretch up to the sky. 
nice hip squat. Breathe in as you come down and breathe out as you press up. Good work. Okay, holding the weight in your hands, we'll do the bent over row next. So bending at the hip and then having a nice flat back and bringing the weight up to your rib cage and squeeze behind your shoulders. So just have a think in your body where you're feeling this. Probably it's in the back of your legs, bit of shoulders, bit of arms, bit of butt. So relax your shoulders back and down and squeeze. Fourteen seconds to go. Work. And then coming up in upright position, we'll do biceps next. I'll turn your hands around. So soft knees, core on. Let's go. So this one's working the front of your arms and the tricep dip we do is the back of the arms. How's that 14 going? A bit heavy there. Yeah. It's all good. I've got some new weights coming soon. A 10 kilo and a 12 kilo. You'll be happy to know. Anybody wants a bit more? Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Here's Marianne. Hello. How are you going? We won't stop, we'll keep going. Okay, so coming down onto the mat now, we're going to do triceps. Coming down onto the mat. We're going to do triceps on the mat this time. So coming into position with your knees bent, that's it. And I want you to bend your elbows and come up like that. That's it. So elbows, send them backwards. Bend your elbows and send them behind you. That's it. So we work in the back of your arms. <laughs> if you get a bit tired, have a rest. It's pretty hard. Feeling it in the back of your arms. Good work. Okay. Just give your arms a stretch. So bring your left arm across and stretch it out. And then other side. And give your shoulders a nice roll through. Succession. Okay, coming back up onto your feet, we're going to do calf raises. Okay, so grab your bar, have your feet a little bit wider apart, and keep your eye on something up there on the bank and lift your heels up and then slowly lower them down. That's it. So try and come up nice and high and go down as slow as you can. So we're working your calves, your Achilles and the muscles under your feet. Nice to see you, Marianne. It's nice to be up. Yeah. Everyone remember Mary Ann? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon. Okay, next one we're doing is a plank. Feel free to join in. I don't think I could, Jenny, but I'm 
Okay, you can just watch them. Yeah, yeah, upright skier. As long as you're not drinking champagne, and well, we have to do it. Okay, so we're planking nice flat backs. Deep breathing, keeping it nice and strong. Nice work, everybody. Stopping session. Oops, I pressed the stop button. Go a little bit longer. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down and going into child's pose. Give that a nice stretch through your lower back. Okay, next one's push up. So if you want to go up to the chair, you can. Keep Mary Ann company. Okay, so into push ups. You ready? Three, two, one, and go. Oh, good work, Penny. You're going to try it on the ground. All right. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one, and stretch it out. Radio girls, back onto the mat again. We're doing sit-ups. So you can do CrossFit ones, or you can just slide your hands up your leg, whichever works for you. Stopping session. Okay, let's go. So breathe in as you lower yourself down and breathe out as you lift your body up. Nice and steady. Good work. And then we'll go straight into bridges. So knees bent feet on the ground bring your heels up close to your bottom and as you inhale lift up through your hips and bring your arms over the top down the side and slowly lower your spine down and keep it going so lift up high and slowly down slide your feet a bit closer to you body good work and then hug your knees up to your chest do some little circles on your lower back And while we're here, let's do a little twist in our spine. Bring your feet back to the ground, arms out to the side. Drop your knees towards Blues Point Tower. But look at the bridge. Take a couple of breaths here. And then inhale to centre and exhale to the other side. Good. And then coming back up, we're going to to our side four lateral leg raises. 
So grab your bar, nice straight body with your hips forward and your foot flexed. Stopping session. Okay, off we go. That's it. Really squeezing it, flexing your foot. Ten seconds to go. Good work. Okay, drop your weight off and swap sides. Okay, getting ready on the other side. So nice straight body, hips forward, foot flexed. And up we go. Second side's a little harder, so just take your time with it. Keep your form. Fifteen seconds to go. Drop the weight off if it gets a bit heavy. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, drop the weight off. Rest. Okay, that's two sets done. Well done. Grab yourself a quick drink. We'll have a little break. Session. For this third set, we'll pick your favorite exercise. So, anybody got a favorite <laughs> punches? Sit ups? Yeah, which one do you like? Sit ups? Oh, yeah, same as Deb. Yeah, what about you, Jen? Pizza? Knees up? Okay. What about you, Martin? Uh, walking to the bench and coming back again. <laughs> okay. The Frankenstein walks. Okay. What about you, Yvonne? Yeah. Push-ups. Yvonne's choosing push-ups. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> so you properly. Yeah. Okay. And Elsa, which one do you want? Elsa, which ones? Uh, just can you... You have to take yourself off mute. Yeah. That's skaters. it. Skaters. 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 Skaters, yeah. okay. <laughs> Both of you? Okay. He's asking everyone what they want. Okay, pop yourself. I'll tell you. Okay. I'll put you back on mute then. Radio. So, and uh, let me see. Yeah, we're standing up now. Standing up, okay. <laughs> okay, then um, I'll do the squat press. Okay, so let's start with Frankenstein walks. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are called Frankenstein. Well, it's good for Halloween. Okay, let's go skaters then. So step to the side, step behind. That's it. And bring your arms in. Look at the comma on there, the shag. He's having his breakfast. That's it, so chest up, squeeze it through the shoulders. Let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay give your body a little shake. 
Let's see if we got any other standing ones. Oh, we had knees up, knees up for Jan. Let's do knees up. Okay, all the way up nice and high. Good, back down. Go one more set, up and down. I'm just padding out time. Well, even it out, we'll Frankenstein walk back down. That way you both get one and a half. Yep. Good work. Okay, let's see what's next. Squat press, these are mine. So grab your weights. Stopping okay, so we're thumbs forward, squatting down and pressing all the way up. Breathe in as you come down, breathe out as you press up. Nice and strong. You can dream of Yvonne's push-ups while you're doing this. <laughs> Is that the Santa's naughty list? <laughs> Good work. Okay, and now we got push-ups. Push-ups for Yvonne. And that's going to be it. And then we'll do stretches. Okay, so hands on outside of the mat. Bring your chest down and up. That's it. Bring your bottom forward. Feel free to do five, have a rest, do another five. Whatever works for you. Nearly there, keep it going nice and strong. Good job. And then come into child's pose and stretch your low back. Radio, we've got 15 minutes to go. We'll just do some stretches now. We'll start with the shoulder one, the thread the needle one. Oh, the sit ups. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's go sit ups. Sorry, Penny. Okay. Yeah, let's go. This is for Penny and and who's the other one? Deb. <laughs> Breathing in as you go down. Breathing out as you come up, nice and smooth. Good work. Okay, now we're done. We're done. We're done now. Okay, so we'll do some stretches. Once more, even once more press ups. <laughs> so while we're in this position, let's go onto our back and hug your knees up to your chest and do some little circles. Good. And then Hold on to your left knee, put your right knee on the ground, and then bring your left knee across the front. And we're gonna hug that up. You might be able to thread your arm through and hug that up. So get a nice stretch through your left glutes. 
that's it. Just taking a few breaths here, we're really stretching it out, nice deep fresh here stretch. Two more breaths. And then switch your legs over. That up. So we're stretching through the right glute this time. Take three more breaths here. Really give it a nice big deep stretch. And then release the crossover and hug both knees to your chest. You're releasing that, just rinsing out the twist that you've just done. And then let's sit up and have your legs out in front of you. Inhale and stretch up towards the sky and exhale, take your body forward. So keep your chest up, keep your eyes on the piers over there and place your fingertips either on your toes or your ankles or your shins. This really gives us a lovely stretch here, feeling it in the back of your legs and your lower back. And then release, bring your left foot next to your right leg. So you've got a bend in your left knee and then come up onto your sit bones and nice tall spine. And again, inhale, lift up and exhale, folding forward. So you're stretching low back, back of your leg and the ITB. Good for anyone with knee or hip pain. And then switch to the other side. If your knee's up high in the air, then bring the, slide the foot down the leg a little more. Sit, so stretch up and exhale as you fold forward. And again, notice on your body how that feels, whether one side's tighter. And then take both legs forward and then stretch up and fold forward again. And just notice if you can get a bit more strength this time bit more forward, a little bit more release. Good. And then release that. Bring your feet, soles together, knees out like a butterfly. Bring the feet up towards your groin area, holding on to your ankles and using your elbows to press down a little bit on your knees, stretching out through the groin. That's it. And then release that and bring your hands behind you and put your feet on the outside of the mat. And we're gonna do windscreen wipers going from side to side. So again, just a bit of a deep release through the hip area. So you're bringing the knees down one way and then the other way. Good. And then let's do a little bit of shoulders. So coming back, just legs out in front, just rolling your shoulders through. Good, and the other way. And then big arms. And the other way. And then bring your left arm across and right hand underneath to give that stretch in the left shoulder. And then swap arms. And then we're going to do what I call is um, a half boat pose. We're going to stretch our quad. So I'll just show you this one. So you lay on your tummy and you reach back with your right hand onto your right foot and pull that right foot towards your body. So you're getting, and bring your knees together. That's it. Can you get it, Yvonne? That's it. Yeah, just grab your shoe if you can't. That's it. So, so this is like the one we do standing where we all have to balance. And then other side, at least you can't fall over when we do it this way. Then go to the other side, so left hand back. That's it. And pull the heel down to your buttocks. And then now let's go to the full boat pose. So put the other hand back. Pull them both down together. So pull both. Try to bring your knees together and bring your heels to your bottom. So feeling that stretch through the 
uh, front of your quads. Feel it? Good. And then you can release. And just laying in this position, bend your knees and just take your feet from side to side. This is a nice release for your lower back. Good. Anybody got any other areas that need a stretch that I've missed? Bit of butt, a bit more butt. Pitch your pose. Pigeon. Oh yeah, pigeon, yep, yeah, we can try that. So coming onto um, tabletop and bring your left knee forward and then take the foot out to the side. So you might need to lift your right knee to bring it across. That's it. So you're in this position and then sl slide your right leg back a little bit till you feel a stretch through the left glute. So you can stay up high or you can go down deep like Deb and everybody's doing. And just taking about three deep breaths here. On each exhale, just allow it to stretch a little more. And then come back up onto your hands and release your knee across back to tabletop. And then take your right knee forward and the right foot across to the left side of the mat. And then slide down that left leg a little bit. You can stay here if you want, or if you want to go deeper, you can come down onto your elbows. And again, just noticing your body, whether this side is tighter than the other side. And if it is, just focus on stretching in between our sessions on this side. Okay, and then coming back up and coming back to tabletop and opening up through your hands and tuck your toes under and lift your hips up to the sky into a downward dog, walking your heels down towards the mat, getting a nice stretch through the back of your legs. Good, and then I want you to walk your feet out wider than your mat and start walking your hands back towards your legs. So you're in a forward bend. That's it. And let your, head, your body fall heavy here. Just a little nice stretch through your lower back. Straighten up your legs if you can. And then you can walk your hands up your legs, coming up to standing. Give your body a nice shake. Anything else? Well done. Good job. Good job, Elsa and Leanne. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Jenny. You're welcome. How's Thank it going, you. right? <laughs> yeah, you know.